Amalia Mai took over as CEO in 2008 when Managing Director Stuart Crone retired. She made her mark on the station through new programming like the magazine-style morning show Open Your Eyes and expanding the entertainment lineup to include dance competitions, various versions of KTV including Latino version for Spanish-speaking and bilingual viewers. Under Mai's watch, Channel 5 also saw new shows such as Great Belize Cooking, The Belize Apprentice, and the popular From Yes to I Do. Mai says it was critical to not only maintain the station's award-winning standards and continue serving on the Caribbean Broadcasting Union Board, but for Channel 5 to become even more competitive internationally. We broke all the ceilings, we shattered all the glasses together, so um, that's a big satisfaction. Um, Regionally-wise, winning all the awards, you know, beating companies like in, with huge investments like in Jamaica, in Trinidad, huge populations like in Cuba, mm -hmm. smaller populations the size of Belize in the Caribbean. Um, but we were always on top. Every August, my greatest pleasure was going to the CBU meeting. And then there were awards in between, you know, that were not necessarily through the, through the, uh, at the, in the region, but certainly the Channel 5 and the staff here have always stood out. There were difficult times too, like when Mai led the company through the two-week ban on all government advertising and access to government officials imposed on Channel 5 in 2010. More recently, COVID-19 and the accompanying decrease in advertising and increase in restrictions on usual news coverage have been challenging, even though no staff had to be terminated. But COVID did force a realization about the future direction of the station. COVID is certainly one of the most difficult times in the company. The pandemic has taught us that traditional broadcasting journalism is no longer the same. It, we have had to, um, to look at other areas where we can be able to, to still continue the work. Streaming services, for example, digital, that is the way forward now. Today she thanked Channel 5 staff for their support and the board of directors too. And I had the greatest opportunity to also have a wonderful board of directors um, that we were in sync. Yeah, I want to pay tribute to them because um, aside from the work that our staff put in, there was the other level of management that it, it made my life easier to working with the, the board. Um, really nice people to work with and what, I, what I've learned I take with me now. Yeah, Marlene is taking over now as of today, so I want to wish her all the best. Incoming CEO Marlene Cuellar has been a very public face for the station, but she's also been active behind the scenes as a key part of the management team for almost a decade. This award-winning broadcaster is a natural choice to lead the company. I first joined Channel 5 in 2006, so I actually started under the first manager, Stuart Crone. Um, Channel 5 will be approaching its 30th anniversary this year, that means I'll be here for just about half of it. And I am most excited to be able to move this television station into what is the new era. The way we communicate and the way we get our information has changed dramatically. And we're starting to see our viewers and uh, people who follow our programs demand that more and more. It's ensuring that we still reach our audience that are reliant on traditional broadcasting, but also ensuring that we are preparing for the next phase that we know is to come. Reporting for News 5, Carla Huesner.